Okay, discussion. I'll start on the left side. Do we have a discussion? Questions? Anything? Over on my right? Anyone have any observations? I have a general question, if you will, Madam Chair. All righty. You know, reviewing the NHMA video a couple of years ago, which was most enlightening to revisit, I encourage our others to watch it again, even those who were present. Uh, where we learned that NHMA was a lobbying group. And I also learned that, that during their meeting that the school committee has a lobbying group. Uh, and, each, uh, and the town clerk has a lobbying group. Mm -hmm. And the town manager has a lobbying group. And I'm just wondering, in the context of this question on the motion, do, do we pay dues to the town manager's uh, association, I guess it's called? All those associations are paid dues under the statute, yes. So it's under your your, manager, your town manager budget? That's correct. Okay, how much is that? 200. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, I was going to ask about that. So I just yeah. wanted to get clarity okay. on that. Okay, yes? What is the amount you said? 100. 200. 100, he said 100. It yeah. says 200 on page one. There's two managers, there's 200, one for each. He asked me how much I paid. Uh, oh, no, uh, I was asking how much we paid, but that's okay. <laughs> so it's actually 100 per manager. Not for a time. Okay. okay. So we better not get any more managers because they're very expensive. <laughs> That's a joke, Fred. Don't don't take offense. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, any further? Because I have a uh, a couple of comments. I Who just want to uh, go yeah. ahead, uh, Brian. You first. Um, I just have one comment. Yes. When I was working for a corporation. Just because someone above me made less than I did when I was an hourly worker, I don't think that's a good road to go down. You, I believe you earn what you earn, and based upon previous raises and etc. But I don't think to just the fact to the town manager you should be paid the most i just don't see that logic okay but that's my only comment okay all set because i'd rather have you speak up first okay i'm going to i do not support this section of the budget the town manager and the assistant manager will be making a combined salary of $204,150. That includes the motor vehicle allowance and $4,500 for training for the assistant manager. It does not include benefits. In 2014, on November 1st, the assistant manager was hired with no experience. The personnel policy was ignored. There was no competitive uh, advertising, no resumes, and no other applicants. I went to the past two years, 2015 and 2016, and the salaries for both positions are up to, uh, by a figure of $22,000. The Board of Selectmen meetings this fall, manager has been present and in his report he has again identified a problem in the Department of Public Works. Uh, Mr. Welch said the DPW is using all of its resources to pick up trash. Director Jacobs said the town does not have a highway department in the summer. Chairman Bridal said the town has grown. There are new streets and new businesses and there is some talk of adding three more employees. That's been floated by a couple of times. Selectman Waddell said, why should DPW solely deal with trash? He also said solid waste pickup is overwhelming the town. The problem has been identified, but where is the solution? Management's job is to provide solutions, options, remedies, plans in problem situations. 
The Board of Selectmen should be demanding action, including interacting with one source of the problem, which is the planning board. And if any of you noticed the planning board meeting the other night when Mr. Kelly is looking to have his uh, um, the plan changed so he can put trash out, we have this year proposed a $5.2 million operating budget for the Public Works Department. It's the largest department, actually takes up about one-fifth of our annual budget. We just paid off a $3.1 million debt for the Public Works Department, which included the three mechanical packers, six, uh, six trailers which are being beaten to death, and the first, uh, the first shipment of the carts. The DPW director and his deputy, I think, are overwhelmed at this point in time. They've got the pipes to the wastewater treatment plant, engineers to work with, the seawall is collapsing, the dog poop in the drains, and federal mandates. The transfer station is aging, and the foundation may be starting to give way. That was built in 96 and probably wasn't built terribly well. Their ability to run and manage that department is being crippled by trash. We are also carrying about $6 million in rolling stock and accessories in the Public Works Department. The director and deputy cannot do their job as they envision it under the current circumstances. For the first time after 30 years of lack of management in that department, we have two professionals who can modernize and restore and reconstruct if they have a board of selectmen and managers who allow them to accomplish their goals. What I see here is Hampton's version of Groundhog Day. And for those of you who didn't see the movie, it was a day that was repeated over and over and over and over again. And unless the matter of trash is resolved, Hampton is going to be trapped again in Groundhog Day. Remember also that there's a significant possibility that the Board of Selectmen can give out more <coughs> non-union raises, including the two managers, once the budget is approved by the public on March 14th. So starting on March 15th, there could be another round of non-union raises. Remember that we are, as long as we're trapped in the time lapse here, the director and the deputy will still be crippled in their ability to lead this department, and the taxpayers do not deserve this. So I am not going to support, nor am I going to vote to approve this section of the operating budget. If you're ready for the vote, I will ask for those in favor of the town manager budget, and would you repeat the figure? 288. 287. 288487. Eight, eight, eight. In favor? Why do I have 282? Two? <coughs> Remember, you got the revised pages, the OBS, the 1220 pages. I thought we were not using those. Well, we shouldn't be using those because the. That section didn't change on the you, Yeah, it's going to say. Looking in the book, it's under, look on the Board of Selectmen, Tim. You're looking under administration. Yes. That section didn't change, though, from no. 11 right. to 1220. Your, your book should be okay. No, what I was doing was looking at the default call. My apologies. Ah, okay. Okay. So I do that sometimes. I need to mind. see hands again because we got sidetracked. In favor of approving <laughs> that section of the operating budget. Um, Barnes, Bridal, uh, Kravitz, Lapham, uh, Augustine, uh, LaBranch, and Ladd. Opposed? Pierce, Henderson, Woolsey, Pluff. Maurer Jones. I lost count, but I think the yeas had it. You got Bar a tally on Barbara, Barbara will tell us. Uh, hold on one second. Yep. The noes are Mr. Pierce, Mr. Henderson, Ms. Woolsey, uh, Mr. Plough, 
Mr. Jones, and Mar. Dave Marr. Uh, that would be uh, seven in the affirmative and six in the negative. Seven affirmative and six negative. Great. Thank you very much, Barbara. All righty. Proceed.